wielding influence and gaining the politics game has been something you've been able to do in the game Courtier. Devising your own conspiracies and behold how they unfold in front of you to conquer the city of Tempest you did in Dominare. Now, Jeff Tiptoe has designed Mercante, where, again, in the city of Tempest, you are going to be trying to control all the merchant houses so you can win the economic warfare within the city. Another from the same series of Alderac Entertainment Group. Now, I'm wondering if the money you have to pay to get your hands on this game is actually worth it. Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. If you want to control a city, you could try the politics and you could try the influence games like you did in Dominare and Courtier. But Mr. Jeff Tipball here, he knows that it's really the commerce what matters. And therefore, this is what you have to do in Mercante. You have to control the commerce in the city of Tempest in order to control what's going on there. This is from the same series that we have been unboxing recently. So I am expecting pretty much the same production values that we saw in, in Courtia and, and Dominare. Um, to start with, in terms of the box, it's pretty much exactly the same. Obviously, different illustration, although I wouldn't be surprised if it were about the same artist, because the style is similar. Very reduced palette. Lovely to look at, I have to say. Uh, I really like it. Uh, and good design overall. So. This is how it's done. Like in previous games, the same rulebook format. Weirdly shaped, but not necessarily uncomfortable to use or look at. Same layout with very big fonts, which I am a very big friend of. Story to start with. To immerse you into the whole atmosphere uh, and theme of the game, which is excellent. This is heavier than the other, than Courtier and Dominare. It seems that this is going to be a slightly more rules heavy book. Everything is detailed and illustrated from the objective. Well, the objective of the game is just that, but the components are all here. The size is just big enough. If they were smaller, I'll be complaining, but they are big enough. Everything is quite obvious. And you have even more illustrations, both for the setup and then how to play. You've got an overview. The key concepts, again, very well done and is consistent throughout the series, which I really like. And then the turn order with bigger more detailed illustrations of, of everything else. There is a fair bit to read in here, but somehow it doesn't put me off. I'm not dreading reading this, maybe because there are plenty of examples throughout the rules and that helps me a great deal. That really makes a difference. So overall, I mean, they even have a sample turn, which is excellent. Super happy. Now, this box is heavy. There is an awful lot of stuff in here. Look at the thickness of that amount of tokens and boards to play with. Let's start from the beginning, though. The tokens. Laminated, beautifully well printed. Every bit of text is huge, so there is absolutely no room for misinterpretation and the time to identify them will also be minimal. Terrific. Thick as anything, just what you need. 
very nice matte lamination in here to make sure that it doesn't get dirty as quickly as it could. Just when I, was, I was expecting this, and this is what I'm getting, so I am very, very happy. Smaller token, same design as in Dominare and Courtier. Consistency, we like consistency. More coin tokens. And then boards for different player numbers. A board for three players. A board for four and one for five. As you can see, the number of slots and numbers changes. Very well done. They do feel quite robust. They're a bit on the flexible side, that's fine. Double sided. With additional rules. So. Interesting. A five player is not. I wonder why. Oh, because it's here for everyone to see. You know, this is the sort of thing that makes me quite confident that they have play tested this game a lot. Because the fact that they come, you know, some double sided and some no, we have them separately means that at some point somebody's given the feedback that playing five players and having them double-sided can be a pain, they have to be turned around an awful lot. And they've listened to that. So I do like it. ta -da! No big board, but an awful lot of small boards. And that means that you're probably going to need a fairly big table to play this game. Because these are very seizable, these are very big. I mean, these are enough to actually hold the tokens with the gold or the spices or whatever it is that you're trading with in Mercante. The insert, as usual, looks lovely. Everything seems to have a place for everything else and everything seems to have this little gap for your finger to be able to be pulled. The standard wooden tokens, nothing to be said about them. They're just wooden tokens and that's fine, they're going to last for probably more than you and I. And then your cards. This time they haven't given me, I bet they've died on purpose, these AG people, they haven't made it easy for me to open this on live, that's fine, forgive them. And again the same quality, okay. I, I've seen them thicker, I've seen them a lot thinner, but the lamination in this one is good enough that you will not get to, to get your fingerprints um, that badly on the cards. They, I think they're going to be able to withstand an awful lot of, of use. And again, sleeving them is quite a simple and cheap task. You know, just get some of these sleeves from Mayday games and that's it, you don't need anything else. The printing is beautiful, as so it is the design. Everything is very clear what's meant to be. No room for any kind of misunderstanding, no additional rules to be read in the cards. Terrific. Terrific. Me like. I'm very much hoping, I like, oh, look at that. The background's lovely. I am very much hoping, by the looks of this game, that the series of Tempest-based board games from AG is not going to stop here. If anything, uh, because they're looking really lovely, they've made a hell of an effort in creating a series of games that is very congruent, is very cohesive, and it would be great to be able to see more. So, I don't know, seeing expansions for, for the guild hall would be great, uh, more houses for, for Mercante, more politicians uh, for Courtier and for the Minare, you know, different houses. It would be really lovely to see that happening. So, I know some people don't like these sort of inserts. I don't mind, I, I like the thinking behind them, I like the thought and the effort put into this. 
I also like from this game an awful lot that it's very different in terms of the format of the layout. You know, all the little boards instead of a huge one um, from the previous games. It means that even if you're playing within the same setting, the replayability and difference is going to be huge. It still leaves potential for expansions, but it still makes it that you can feel you're really playing different games. And that is fantastic. Um, very well done for the series, very well done for the, for the production values of this game. I cannot really fault it too much, to be honest with you. AG, you've done absolutely brilliant, brilliant work. Very, very proud of it. Congratulations.